Firewall rules are basically the bread and butter of every firewall out there. It doesn't really matter if your firewall is a next generation firewall. Whenever you head out to the internet and you're using a firewall, then you're obliged to firewall rules. What are firewall rules and how are they made? Coming up. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. A firewall rule is nothing more than a set of criteria that your traffic needs to match. Whenever an IP session happens in your network, a set of rules are being matched against that traffic. If your firewall doesn't find a match at the first rule, then it goes to the next rule. Rules are handled from top to bottom. Now let's look at how a policy rule is being configured and what objects are used to create that match. In every rule, there's always the implicit deny rule that sits beneath every other rules. That is, if your firewall doesn't find any match in the traffic, then the traffic goes to the implicit deny rule and it is being dropped. So when we start to configure our firewall rule, we have, as we said, an implicit deny rule at the bottom. And from there, we start to configure our different criteria that will be matched against your traffic. Now we start, we start with the name of the rule itself. As for naming conventions, don't use too many characters don't use spaces between words uh, try to use underscores the second thing is the incoming interface what is the incoming interface well that's the interface that your local area network is connected to your dmz is connected to whatever interface that the traffic is coming from the second criteria is the outgoing interface. So that usually in a full access rule, full access policy, that is your WAN interface. When you configure your rule to allow traffic from the LAN towards the WAN and the internet, but it can also be another segment of your um, enterprise, another LAN, it can be the DMZ. The incoming interface is known as the ingress interface. The outgoing interface is known as the egress interface. So we have two interfaces, the incoming interface, the outgoing interface. And from there we move to the source. What is the source that makes the traffic? Well, that can be your clients. That can be just about any source, that is any IP address, or you can use what is known as firewall objects, a specific IP addresses within your local area network. It can also be a user or a user group that is saved on your firewall internal database or a remote authentication server such as LDAP or a RADIUS server. Another criteria is the destination. What is the destination that your traffic is heading towards? It can be any destination, that is any IP address out there. It can be a specific IP that you can configure or it can be a domain or maybe an internet service, an Amazon service. So uh, be sure to be granular. 
don't just use any or all. Be specific. If you're configuring a full access policy uh, that will allow anyone to get out towards the internet, then it will probably be all. If you're configuring specific destination, then be sure that to configure them ahead and use them in your rule. The next thing is scheduling. Do you want your policy to work out 24 seven? Or do you want it to work on specific hours, specific days, reoccurring days? So you will probably have cases where you will be asked to open a firewall rule for a specific appliances in your local area network. It could be a backup device, it could be a network attached storage. Be sure to know what times are those appliances need that firewall rule. The next thing is service. Service, that is, which protocols are being used in your firewall rule. Are you using only HTTP, HTTPS? and DNS, that is uh, port 80, port 443, port 53, or are you allowing your employees to get out to just about anywhere using any protocol out there, including FTP, SSH, and so on. So again, be careful with the service usage rights. And the last thing is the action. Are you denying or are you allowing traffic based on that match? Now, this was actually only the part one of your policy or rule creation. The next thing once that is, um, once you have a match, is to go through security profiles. That is going through antivirus, application control, IPS, and so on. The other thing that you will have to take care of is are you using network address translation? Are you logging all sessions or only security events? If you look at my channel, you will find dozens of videos related to security profiles and other features of your firewall. So please check out, subscribe, and see you soon.